Hey folks, I'm Lauren Dunn, lead product evangelist here at DocuSign, and I am joined by... Hi, I'm Vanessa Grant. Um, I have been doing Salesforce projects since about 2010, but uh, most recently in the last three years, I've been doing a lot of Salesforce consulting, and I was also a DocuSign consultant for a period of time. Woohoo! So Vanessa is on here today to talk to us about something that she likes about DocuSign, some tips, tricks, and whatever else she has to share her knowledge her wealth of knowledge. So I'm like ready to download it all, Vanessa. Over to I'm, you. I'm ready to share it. Um, so I ended up uh, during my DocuSign consulting days and even some of my Salesforce consulting days working for some medical device companies um, that worked in the medical aesthetics field. And one of the features of DocuSign that I really loved was using power forms for mm -hmm for liability waivers before people came in for treatments. Um, so it was something that people could fill out um, and sign and get it done, especially uh, I used to work for an organization that did like spa pop-ups. And so Ooh. they always had a list of the people that were going to come in because they had already made appointments online. Mm -hmm. So they could pre-send those out so they didn't have to spend a whole bunch of time actually at the pop-up going through the entire DocuSign mm -hmm. process. It would all be done and they could see right away who had already signed the form, who hadn't, and really get that line moving. Awesome. Did you get free spa treatments? I will say my skin was a lot happier when I was working there. But, you know, Salesforce Consulting thankfully pays well enough that I can kind of afford my own treatments now. Sort of don't go enough, but self-care. Oh, so you, know, <laughs> you have the community, the Salesforce community to, to keep you going. So, okay, cool. So over to you to share. Okay. So this is my made-up spa, the Grant Wellness Spa. All right, maybe a little bit generic. I threw the Lotus on there. Disclaimer, I'm not a lawyer. I just made the spa liability form up as well as my peel. Um, mm -hmm. But along the lines of kind of what we were what we were doing there. Yeah. So I just made this Microsoft Word. Um, really simple form. Obviously, consult your lawyer before you use it for this particular use case. Um, but one of the things I do love about DocuSign is, especially in the, the medical field, um, there's so many like compliance and legal issues. And I will say the security on DocuSign has really been a huge differentiator um, in, in my line of work. So I added the, the SPA liability waiver. I PDF'd mm -hmm. it and um, added it to my templates. Going in, uh, I can just go ahead and after I, I uploaded it, I uh, put in the fields that I needed um, as well as the signature. Mm -hmm. um, and then I can turn it into a power form. You see, I already have one active. Um, mm -hmm. But let me create a new one just for you guys. So when I'm creating a power form, I just select the template that I want. Really easy. And it's just going to take the same template I already have and mm -hmm. just turn it into a URL so folks can kind of self-serve and sign it on their own. So I'm just gonna hit create. And then you see that it gives me the URL for it. So I'm just gonna copy yep. that URL. What's great about having that URL is if you already have uh, a group of people that you need to sign it, you can just add it to like an email um, blast that goes out so that folks mm -hmm. can go in and sign it at their leisure. So I'm gonna go ahead here and post my URL so you can see what that power form looks like. Another nice thing is with the power forms, you can actually embed them as well um, onto mm -hmm. websites. So let's say you wanted to throw it on. There, there are a lot of different neat options to do with these power forms. And also mm -hmm. the use case I gave you is just like one of many. I mean, I've seen people use these for signing, uh, you know, signing letters of agreement or uh, permission slips for even like Boy Scout trips, things like oh, that. Yeah. There's oh, all sorts of school. different use cases. Yeah, our school use it for like trips out of town and like road trips and stuff like that for our school. So yeah, it's kind of cool. cool. So I'm going to go in here and pretend that I'm going in for a almost melt your face chemical peel procedure. Um, I'm going to make up an address here. So let's call it 65 Sales Forest Lane. Woo. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and sign. Um, I usually like to draw because it makes it seem very exciting. All right. Well, I've adopted inside. Draw it. I can't. Like mine's like a squiggle and it looks terrible. I, I mean, this doesn't look beautiful, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it feels real. Yeah. And I am real Vanessa Grant. So. 
you know, yeah, you are indeed. Gotta gotta go with the brand. Um, okay, so now I finished that up. Okay, so going back to my templates, um, if I go back to my spa liability, um, this is the one that uh, I had most recently created, and you'll see right there. Um, there's my spa liability waiver and that it was completed. And from here, I'm able to download it and actually also start seeing um, all the ones that uh, came in as part of that, that link. Okay. So it's, I mean, obviously super easy to mm -hmm. create them from a template. So if we already have an existing template, super easy to convert it to a power form. It, oh, yeah. We already know it's easy to create DocuSign templates anyway. So really you can get a power form like up and running. I mean, 10 minutes, as long as you don't have anything super complicated on it. Yeah. Well, that's super cool. Like, I forgot how easy it is to because I don't I don't have to create all the time. So it's like, oh, yeah, power forms. It's there. It's like it's so easy. And like knowing all the different use cases is amazing as well. So awesome. Yeah. And that's it. You can download it and it's it's good to go. Yeah, it's it, it really is. There's so many. It's just one of those really great DocuSign tools that you can throw in your tool belt and as you, as long as you start considering it, like you will find the use cases for it. There, there are so many things that you, you just think about, like where, gosh, you know, just sending a straight out email with a with a DocuSign form can be a little tedious sometimes because it's very manual. And just having the self serve option, total game changer for for a lot of use cases. Oh yeah, I actually got an email today. I was from someone who was like, hey, I got this email and it says DocuSign and. We haven't had a lot of chats. Is like this really from you? And I'm like, yeah, I need you to sign this non disclosure agreement. And they're like, oh, okay. I was like, yeah. So if I had it sent an email personally, you can personalize it and embed that URL. And then there's all that confusion is, is gone as well. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. And especially if it's not, uh, an, you know, something that has to be sent to any particular person, like it's just the same form and they can fill out their own stuff. Um, it makes it really easy to just use that one form, just keep mm -hmm. sending it out and you can start and you can keep track of it all. That's that's really mm -hmm. the lovely thing. It's an, it's one spot where you can see it, download whatever you need and see what's come in and, and who who still needs to send to and who would still need to, to sign it. Yeah, well, it's like it's super quick and easy. Thank you so much for, that, for sharing something that you love. I know. I feel like like maybe I got through that demo too quickly because it was so easy to do. Well, <laughs> so. that's the thing is like some people are like, oh, I didn't know I could do this. And that's that's the whole point of this series is here's something you, that you may not know or people might go, oh, yeah, everyone knows how to do that. Or, oh, yeah, everyone knows this part. And most people don't. It's like there's a lot of like acronyms. I'm like, what does that acronym mean? And people just assume when they say it, like PTO. Like my dad used to go, what's PTO? And I'm like, paid time off. And you just assume people know this stuff, but not everyone does. So that's the whole point of this series. I mean, that's that's the whole thing is I didn't I, I was a DocuSign consultant, not that I was terrible at my job or anything, but like I just didn't have the use case. And as soon as they're like, listen, we've got this pop up, we mm -hmm. need a way to do this. Um, it was OK, well, what do I already have in my in my tool suite that can accomplish this the best way possible? Now, we could have done it the you know, the old fashioned way or using like a bulk send or something like that. But the power form was just honestly the easiest way to handle that particular scenario it worked out really, really well and simplifying things works. It does. That's, that, that's what we do. We want to make everybody's lives easier. That's, that's the aim of the game. Vanessa, thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming on. Don't forget folks to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments or anything like that, feel free to post them down below. Vanessa's uh, Twitter handle is on the screen as well. So give her a follow and uh, you know, send her, she likes gifts, send her lots of gifts. <laughs> Like my hypercolor DocuSign yeah. t-shirt. Thanks, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Thanks so much.